Hey guys, so today we're here to talk about my new Kickstarter that I just got in. I am so freaking excited. Been waiting on this bad boy. I even made a bag, which, whoopsie, it's upside down, but that's okay because it's badass, which is to go with the badass deck that I got in from Kickstarter. Badass Baby Unicorn Tarot Deck, 2nd Edition. So if you guys want to see more, stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe and send me a like to keep more videos coming. Thanks, guys. So let's get into this. So, with my Kickstarter, I got not the cheapest one, but the next step up. That was supposed to come with a second sticker sheet along with the sticker sheet that came with one of our um, goals. So I got an email from Kai stating that they ran out of them, I guess, or they didn't get them. I'm not sure what the deal was. Anyways, she was super sweet and told me that I could upgrade and that she was going to send me a pendulum, which was super cool because I actually really wanted the pendulum. So this is the really cute pendulum that I got. Here's the end. Isn't that adorable? The little castle and it's on this chain and I made the bag to go with it and I'm pretty sure it's amethyst. So that's great. I love amethyst. It's basically my favorite stone. So I'm really excited to take a look at this. Now the deck came with a like a velvety velour purple bag and also this came with one um not my favorite so I'm not going to use them plus I've been making my own bag so I'm gonna go with that so I made this bag to go with my deck and then I took the scraps and made a teeny weeny little bag for the pendulum which after sewing the other one upside down I made sure to sew this one right side up and what it was was a pack of um, material that I believe I got from Michaels and it was unicorns and it was like a couple of different kind of unicorns. So I used it to make this amazing reading cloth to match my deck, which I'm super stoked about golden unicorns. Yeah. So it came with this great badass luminescent sticker, which I'm in love with because unicorns are badass and so am I. And then these... And so this is her shop. So I did check out her shop online. Um, but it's basically just for like readings, I believe. From what I remember. So this is what came with the deck. So this was our free add-on of stickers that we got from our goals. Which I think are absolutely adorable. I love this. Boo freaking who. Well, the other word, but I'm not going to say that. Child friendly over here. And the star of the show, the deck. Let's get into this bad boy. So it's a beautiful magnetic box. And I know most of them like open to here, but this one's really cool. Like opens all the way up. And it says the portal is open and the unicorns are unleashed. Brace yourself. Shit can surprise you when you least expect it. So always stay in your magic. I think that's so cool. And then you have your string. The book is actually really pretty good. And I love how it's colored. The cards are like a really small picto of the cards. But it's got, you know, your upright meaning, your reversal meanings. And then a quickie of your upright and reversals. So that's great. And it's got it for all the cards. And then some notes in the back. So... Yeah, I love it. I will be honest, I couldn't wait to get into this bad boy. So I've only looked through it once, did not shuffle it, did not do anything, and found one of my favorite cards, which, you know, I love. <laughs> so this is the back of the box. The front of the box. She's got all your elements on it, which I think are great. Badass unicorns. Badass baby unicorns, which I think is so freaking adorable. So I don't really have many, like, what I would call, like, like, I have cartoony decks. But I don't really have any that are, like, super happy, fun type of decks. 
Anyway, so this is that deck for me. This is that, like, childhood, but kickier in your ass childhood deck. So the backs are fully reversible. And look at that match with my cloth. Come on, guys. It can't get any better than that. So let's get to it. Oop, let's turn her right side up. There's no gilding on it. I haven't decided if I'm going to edge this or not. I probably will eventually. But I have lots of decks now I want to edge now that I've done one. I did my Antiques Anatomy and now I'm like, oh, I need to do this. So let's see if we can get in just a wee bit closer. All right, there we go, nice and close. So we can really see these cards. Magician, I love how she has all her symbols and the lightning bolt, lightning bolts coming out of her. And I love how she has, so if we go back to the fool, the fool doesn't, oh yeah, they do say we. They all have little comments on them, which I think is super funny. So it's like, it's really like sassy. And I know that was one of the comments that she said on her Kickstarter. So yeah, this was a Kickstarter deck um, and I love it. So this one says, you can't tell me nothing that I don't already know, which is totally the high priestess because you don't know it till you know it. And once you know it, you know it, which I'm in love with the priestess right now. She's one of the cards that I'm like doing a heavy study into. So there's a mama. <laughs> That's so great. The baby's jumping. The emperor. <laughs> the poop. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This deck is just so fun. So fun. And it's so colorful, but it's like still pastel-y, but with a like punch of color. So it's really, really a beautiful deck. And the card stock is fantastic. It's mm, uh, just a touch of gloss, but it's matte. But it's got that really slippery feeling. So it'll be super easy to shuffle, I imagine. Which we're going to try in the end. Um, because it's super slippery soft. I don't know. I, whatever this finishes, I'm in love. And I wish every deck was made like this. Because it's beautiful. Oh, there's our little justice. And I love how it's not just a regular just Like it looks like they're actually in a courtroom. And that little blue unicorn is getting what they deserve. The hanged man. Like, it's very RWS. But it's its own thing. And I know I'd watch reviews from their first edition and people were like, oh, this is pretty graphic. Yes, it's very, like, I feel like it could be child friendly. But it's also very adulty to me. And so to me, I don't feel like this is overly aggressive. It's the death card. What do you expect? Like, they've got to represent death. And I think this is a great representation of death. And I don't feel like that's too scary for kids or a teenager if you were giving this to a teenager. It's a great temperance card. The devil. It's a little on the risque side, but I don't think a kid would get it anyway, so... To me, like, this could be a child-friendly deck, and it could be a teenager deck or an adult deck. Like, to me, this is a very family-friendly deck. Like, even, like, the pieces of swearing, they're... she has, like, the, like, blockouts of the words. So, to me, it... there's nothing wrong with that. But I grew up in a very liberal house, so... And the judgment still got your horn so to me it's very very rws like see she even has it blocked out in the one swear word the world i love the like horn on the world and the colorations again are just beautiful like you have nice blues and purples and pinks and green and like the poop emoji is everywhere. It's great. It's great. I love it. It's so up my alley. Like I was looking for something that could be kind of kid friendly. Like for my inner child work. And this just hits the spot so perfectly. Because yeah it's inner child. 
but it's still adult. So for me, I, I absolutely adore Like, this would have been a great deck when I was like 18 or 19 and first trying to discover tarot. But then wasn't sure and I kept picking it up and dropping it very quickly. And man, I feel like if I would have had this deck back then, there would have been no dropping it. Like, this would have been my entry deck. So I'm so excited to have it now. Like, look at that sass in that Eight of Cups. Look at her go. And I love how, like, I don't like, obviously there's blue and there's pink, but I don't feel like they're overly genderly assigned. I feel like this is a pretty good gender neutral deck for the most part. Like, it, yeah, of course, it can feel kind of feminine, but I don't feel like it's overly feminine like I just think it's funny and I think it's great I just am adoring this deck and I cannot wait to start using it I think this is gonna be so much fun ace of swords and I love how the blood is such a contrast like even if we went back to the death card I love how, like, super blood red it is. And, like, it's not just around, like, everything's so round and fluffy. But the blood is so, like, bam, it's there. Which I kind of am loving. Like, that contrast with the blood with the fluffiness of the rest of the deck. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a really good balance of fluffy in real life. Like, that unicorn has a gun. <laughs> like, that's such a contrast. The three of swords. Again, look at how, like, poignant that blood is. Like, yes, feel my pain. Well, I feel it all right. I know. I love these sword cards, and I love how poignant it is. I don't know. This deck is just giving me all the feels right now. I'm just absolutely adoring it. And I don't know how many times I can say that in one video, but I am. And I've never felt, like, overly passionately about the sword suit, other than I like the three of swords, because, you know, heart and pain. It's very poignant. But I am really digging the sword suit in this deck. Like, really. And I don't think I can say that about any of the other decks that I have. Let's straighten you up a bit. So I think that's really great to have a new connection to a new suit. So I definitely think when I go to do a sword study, like currently I'm doing a, um, a cup study with um Ethany's uh, modern love tarot and I know she has um a pentacle study with her bad bitches tarot and I asked if there was one for the pentacle um not the pentacles the swords and the wands and she said not yet but it's coming and honestly like I feel like I would totally do the sword study in this deck because it's bombing Got a good little pile over here. Oh, like, look at how cute and little sailboats in the background. And I gotta say, I love the titles. So, yeah, it's kind of a big space, but it gives you room to clearly read it. And I like the font that they've used in this deck. It's nice and clear. I can read it. Sometimes I struggle when it's, like, too handwritten. Um, where I find this deck is really well done. Like, look at the little broken pentacle. Aww. But yeah, getting back to the font, I love it. And I like how clear it is. It gives you room to read it. And then gives you lots of space. Because there's no borders, you have lots of room to see the imagery. So, I really like it. I don't know. Like, I'm really, really well impressed with this deck. Like, I, at first I backed it and I was like, oh, that'll be cute. That'll be fun. And then I kind of was like... Mm, I'm not sure because I watched one or two other reviews and people were like it's cute at the beginning but I don't know and I know um Lisa Papez got the first edition and she rehomed it and she's someone that loves unicorns and I was really surprised to hear that but I think she loves a different type of unicorn where I don't know this is my unicorn deck like I'm not like I like unicorns don't get me wrong like everyone else but this is my unicorn style. Like, I don't think I could get on with 
the other type of unicorn decks. This is my unicorn deck for sure, by far. And I painted my nails just in time for this video. <laughs> I did a blue to match the deck. I think it's a little dark for the deck, but it works. Like, look at that three of wands. Oh, and her flowing mane. It's my time to shine as she holds up the big wand. Like, so good. It's so good. And look at, like, that bright contrast. I love how it's, like, not a bright contrast in every single card. So then when you see it, you really pay attention to it. I don't know. I'm just... This is a really, really good deck. And I believe she's selling it, like, she's still selling it. Like, obviously, the Kickstarter's over, but I believe she has more and she's selling them. So I would definitely look it up. And if I have a link, I will link it below if I can find the link for you to purchase it. Because I definitely think it's, see, oh, and this was one of the cards I also really loved. The Page of Wands. Here we go. Getting out her blush. Getting pretty for the night. I love this. I like to move it, move it. So great. So great. So yeah, that was the Badass Baby Corn Tarot. So let's do a little shuffle shuffle and pick a card. And there's going to be reversals. I don't read reversals, at least not yet. I'm not there. I'm still deep in learning. I'm getting a decent grasp on my majors. I'm really trying to learn my minors. So we'll see how this goes. But there, I know clearly the way I just did that. There will be reversals. But I'm not going to read those. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Let me see what I'm doing. Alright. There we go. See how beautifully that shuffles? Like it just glides into each other. Now I can try here to riffle shuffle, but I'm going to ban the camera, guaranteed, because I'm just learning to riffle shuffles. And let's do that, and do that. And see, like I said, I'm just learning to riffle shuffle. But it does riffle shuffle if I was better at it. All right, let's pick a card here. Let's see what we get. So we get the Four of Cups. And it says, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you it after I smoke this grass. So I guess this is one of the more adult cards, if we should say that. But uh, super funny. Super funny. I think it's pretty hilarious. So let's look up the four cups in the guidebook. Three of cups, four of cups. So we have the upright, meaning meditation, contemplation, apathy, revolution, reverses, boredom, missed opportunity, and being aloof. The upright. The Four of Cups often appears when you are bored or dissatisfied with the status quo. You may be feeling disengaged, apathic, or unmotivated. Life has become a state of flat, and there is a little that excites you anymore. The overcome of this, the Four of Cups, suggests a need to reevaluate your situation. And to look deep within your own psyche to find understanding and meaning. Turning your attention inward to find the truth of, for which you are searching. And distracting and examine your heart and mind to gain clarity. And then it goes on to talk about the reversal. So I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm totally, absolutely loving this deck. And my tarot cloth matches perfectly. So yeah, so that's the Bad Baby Unicorn Tarot Deck 2nd Edition from Kickstarter with all the goodies. My own homemade pendulum bag and bag for the deck. 
So if you guys would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and give me some likes. I'm still new at this and gaining a tiny bit of traction. And if you notice, I changed my credits at the beginning and the end or the intro, however you want to call that thing. Um, I had listed two Instagrams. I've recently renamed the one and got rid of the other. So you can look me up on social media under Instagram at Tarot Plans. T-A-R-O-T-N-A-T-T-P-L-A-N-S. Tarot Plans. Go look me up because I definitely post about the videos that I'm doing and post every day or every second to third day some really cool photos and lots of info to go with them so hit me up bye guys